Hi, everyone. Uh, this is Steve Small, Dean of the School of Behavioral and Brain Sciences, the University of Texas, Dallas. And I want to welcome everybody, um, our students, our faculty, staff, alumni, community members, supporters, to this video where I am announcing the finalists of the Research Showcase Poster Competition. Uh, the poster competition was organized and run by the Office of Research at University of Texas at Dallas and the School of Behavioral Brain Sciences is extremely grateful to them uh, for engaging our school in this activity. The competition um, uh, is among our PhD students, our graduate students in the doctoral programs. We have three doctoral programs in the School of Behavioral and Brain Sciences. We have the program in psychology, program in cognition and neuroscience, and the program in speech, language, and hearing sciences. And all PhD students in our school were eligible to participate in this poster competition. Many of you know that posters are the part and parcel of what students do as part of their research presentations at conferences around the United States and around the world. And so building a poster correctly and being able to articulate your science is extremely important to the success of a doctoral student. We had 17 students in our three departments. Our departments are psychology, speech, language, and hearing, and neuroscience. And we are very proud that five of those 17 have made it to this final round. The final competition will be Friday, July 31st, and will take place from 11 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. And obviously that's central time where Dallas is, but if you're anywhere in the world and you wanna come, uh, it's 11 to 1230 uh, United States Central Time. I'm told that you will all have the opportunity to vote for the posters you like the best uh, via an audience uh, participation. And we will also have some faculty members and alumni of the school um, as, uh, as senior judges for this event. So with no further ado, let me tell you a little about the, the five finalists. Um, they come from um, five different laboratories at the school. Um, the first finalist is Deborah Calderon. Deborah is a PhD student in the laboratory of Dr. Krista McIntyre, and she'll be talking about the locus ceruleus, uh, which is a, a very important nucleus in the brain. A nucleus is a collection of brain cells, and this is a collection of brain cells in the brain stem of the human being that's extremely important in um, 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 managing some, some of the neurotransmitters that are, are present all over the human brain. So congratulations to Deborah Calderon. Our second finalist is Adrienne Defroy. Adrienne is a student in our um, speech language and hearing department, a student of Dr. Pam Rollins. And um, Adrienne is working on autism interventions. So this is very important. As you know, autism is extremely uh, prevalent now uh, around the United States and the world. No one knows exactly why. And there aren't that many interventions that are really effective in getting people with autism to have better social understanding and communication. And, and so Adrienne DeFroy is working on, on that issue. And congratulations to Adrienne. The third finalist is Robert Morrison. Robert Morrison is a student in our neuroscience department under Professor Mike Kilgard, and he's working on vagus nerve stimulation. So there's a, a nerve that, that goes from the, the brain stem um, and it goes down to the organs of the body and it goes up to the brain. And the, um, the vagus nerve um, is, is an important nerve in uh, controlling the autonomic nervous system. That's the part of the nervous system you don't control. That's not the controlling the arms and controlling the legs and controlling thinking. It's controlling your heart rate. It's controlling your breathing. It's controlling all of, all of these things that you don't pay that much attention to. And uh, Dr. Kilgard's laboratory has identified vagal nerve stimulation as a potential therapy for all kinds of different human diseases. And and figuring out the optimal intensity of stimulating that nerve is the is the work of, uh, of Mr. Morrison, and we congratulate Robert on achieving the final round. The fourth finalist is Olga Peskova. Olga is a student in the laboratory of Dr. Peter Asman. Dr. Asman is a member of our departments of speech, language, and hearing, and our department of psychology, and. Um, Olga's work is on speech perception and production in, in um, children who have normal hearing and children who have uh, cochlear implants. Cochlear implants are surgically implanted devices 
that go in, in the ear of, of people to allow them to transmit sound from the world to their brain, even if the organs of the ear are really disrupted. And children who have cochlear implants um, are able to hear um, at, at some level of, of uh, ability and understanding and improving their understanding, improving how they do speech perception and production is really important for their success in school and their success in life. So congratulations for Olga on reaching this final round. And the final finalist is Monica Trevino. Monica is in the laboratory of Dr. Uh, Edward Loberinus. Um, Eddie is a member of our speech, language, and hearing department, and he is one of the leading researchers in audiology, that's hearing, um, in our speech, language, and hearing department. And he's very much expert, Dr. Loberinus and his student are very much expert at the acoustic reflex and auditory perception. And what Monica is working on is um, looking at the ability of this reflex and, and, and uh, this reflex and the, the success of auditory perception in people who have uh, in, in people in animal models of, of, uh, of uh, um, chemotherapy for cancer. So um, they're using, they're, they're doing a study of a, of how uh, these cancer treatments are affecting hearing and it's really important. So Monica, uh, congratulations. Um, to our, to our 17 uh, uh, contributors, we want to thank you for participating. I'm sure some of you were very close to being in this final round. To the five of you who made the final round, we're really proud of you, really excited, and we're looking forward to everyone who's listening to this video, looking forward to a fabulous day um, when we all participate in judging the final round. So congratulations to the five of you, and, and please welcome to everyone who's listening to the video. Uh, thanks. Congratulations. 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 Felicidades. Congratulations. Way to go. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. The Office of Graduate Education is proud to support you in your outstanding work. Go Comets! Go Comets! The Office of Research is proud to support you and your outstanding work. Congratulations to our top five. We're very proud of you. Whoosh!